In this video, we're going to talk about drawing the graph of a quadratic function using the step pattern if the a term is not 1. And at the end, we're also going to state the transformation. This is the key thing to consider in this video uh, when the a term is not 1. So to begin, we're still going to reference the step pattern um, that we've already talked about, but I'm going to look at this example, y equals 2 times the quantity x minus 1 squared minus 4. First thing I notice that it is in vertex form, and remember to graph any quadratic function, we're going to start always, always, always with the vertex. So the vertex in this case, I always reference the power of 2. To the left is the h term, and it's lying to me. Remember, h goes with x, and so since it's a negative 1, it be my x value of the vertex becomes positive 1. And then I'm going to look at the k term, and in this case, the k is telling the truth, and the k is my y term, and that's negative 4. So I have found the vertex. Now, the next thing we're going to look at, and it comes into play, is identifying what the a value is. And remember, standard form, in, or, or vertex form, sorry, vertex form, the a value is always the number that exists in the front of the function. We've been working with functions that had an a value of 1. Now it's going to change. In this case, the a value is 2. And I like to call the a term a multiplier. And what happens is it multiplies all of the outputs, or all of the y values. If I was to put in x values into this function, every y value would be multiplied by 2 at the end of the process. Um, so if you remember the parent function y equals x squared, all of those y values would double, if you remember the table of values we talked about. So in this case, all I'm going to reference is the original step pattern when the a was 1, the up, the vertical, the y values, or the y motion, was the pattern was over 1, up 1, over 1, up 3, over 1, up 5. Now, these numbers are going to be multiplied, in this case, by 2, because the a term is a multiplier. So it's going to become, instead of 1, 3, 5, it's going to be up 2, up 6, up 10. And sorry, I need to switch this as well. Over 1, over 1, over 1. So if you notice, over 1, up 2, over 1, up 6, over 1, up 10, instead of the original over 1 up 1, over 1 up 3, over 1 up 5. So the 1, 3, 5 doubled. It becomes 2, 6, 10. That's all you need to keep in mind for this process, all right? So if I'm going to draw this function, y equals 2 times x minus 1 squared minus 4, I start with the vertex. So I go over 1, down to 4. And then I use the step pattern. From the vertex, always, always, always from the vertex, I'm going to do the first step, over 1, up 2. And then from this, and I do that in both directions. And then from this new point I've created, I go over 1, up 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then over 1, up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then finally from that new dot, I go my final step, over 1, up 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. A little bit of an estimate because I went off the chart, but or off the graph. And then finally over here, over 1, up 10. And this is the parabola or the graph of that function. If you notice, I'm going to clean that up a little bit so it looks a little bit more smudgy. Let's see here. There we go. If you notice then, we can state the transformation, but hopefully from the, the functions you have been drawing, whenever there is an A term multiplier, um, it becomes, and it's a whole number, we'll talk about fractions as well, but it's a whole number, the graph, if you look, becomes skinnier skinnier and it gets vertical quicker, all right, as compared to the original function 
y equals x squared, or something with an a term of 1. So this is how I draw this function. To finish it off, I'm going to state the transformation. The parabola shifted one space to the right. Four spaces down and stretched vertically by a factor of two. And that last part stretched vertically by a factor of 2 is referencing the a value of 2. So it became skinnier. And then I'm done. So that's the process of drawing a quadratic function when the a term is not 1. All it does is shift the graph, or sorry, make the graph skinnier in this case. So go ahead and pause the video and try your example on your own. Notice, though, that the a value in this case is 2, but it's a negative 2. So when it's negative, instead of going up 2, 6, 10, it's going to go down 2, 6, 10. So go ahead and try number 3, find the vertex, and draw the graph and state the transformation in your own words. And pause the video and then check your work with mine. At this point, you should have tried this example on your own. I have stated that the a value is negative 2. The vertex is negative 3, comma, negative 4 and I have drawn the function. I plotted the vertex, and then I went over one instead of going up two, I went down two for both of these, and then from these two points, I went over one down six, rough estimate, because it goes off the graph. And I connected my points. So there's the parabola of the, of the given function. And then finally, I stated the transformation. So in this case, in a complete sentence, I wrote, the parabola shifted three spaces left, four spaces down, and reflected about the x-axis. In this portion, that's a fancy way of saying that the parabola flipped downward, and it flipped downward because the function is negative, and you can tell that the function is negative based off of whatever the a value is. In this case, the a value is negative 2. Please raise your hand if you have any questions.